Uh, this is part two of how the parentive motor worked, if it worked. What I'm going to start out with is I'm going to change around the orientation of these magnets and try some different things. I picked up a few more magnets to do that with. Now, due to the fact that this has such a strong grab when it goes into the field here, I'm going to work with utilizing that with some spacing. Because after you get past that initial kick, it really doesn't do anything. thing I tried was placing some spaces between each of these sets here. Uh, which hasn't worked out so well. As you see, if you uh, start out in the middle, it doesn't really work would appear to if you start at the opening set of magnets. But it's really only working on momentum. One of the things that I've never heard anybody bring up in relation to this motor is this strange object that appears to be in the rotor. You can barely see it because the original video is not in very high quality. But there's definitely something in there. And as the, uh, the motor opens up and it begins to slow down, you can see something on this one rotor. And it's right when he does the walk around, so you can't see it clearly. As it slows down, though, you can definitely see something sticking up on that one rotor. And this is something you're better off uh, pulling up the video yourself to see clearly. It's really hard to see on here. But right up in this top portion here, what the heck is that? I've never heard anybody address that. It could be some kind of a uh, counterbalance weight just so that the, so that the, uh, the rotor is balanced. Or it might be something else entirely. And here's a minor thing that I did not mention in the previous video. Uh, the 30 degree angles on the rotor in a stator, most people, you really don't have to explain this, this is for directional rotation. The angle forces it to go in a specific direction. If you were to just place the magnets in their level, uh, it doesn't tell the rotor which direction to move. Now, it's obvious to most people, but I have seen people play some videos on YouTube where they uh, don't take this into account. And there's really no reason for the rotor set up this way to go one direction or the other. It has to be angled for you to have directional rotation. Just a side note.
never really had any real success with this type of configuration, but had a little extra time today, so thought I'd just play around with it a little bit just for fun. If I were going to do this right, I would take these as cylinders and cut them at an angle instead of angling these pieces and surround them with uh, shielding. And I would do the same thing on these pieces on the rotor here. Alright, now I have it in a traction mode. Uh, it doesn't do anything more in repulsion mode, though I tried that earlier. I just thought I'd share that with you just for fun.